guys, so I know it's kind of dark. All right, I realize that. Make sure we got something pretty to look at behind me. Anyhow, um, right in front of me, I got this herb garden. Let me turn this camera around. So real quick before it gets dark, let me orient you guys. All right. So I'm standing in my vegetable garden. And right ahead, you see my old herb garden. I still got a huge clump of lavender right here. I think that's about probably three plants. And I've since cleared a whole bunch of weeds. See that? So um, I added two of those, um, what's that called? The two scraggly ones in the front, those are sensational lavender. I think those back there are province. Let me see. Yeah, I better make sure, make sure I document it before uh, we wrap this up. Yeah. So the two taller ones in the back are province. I think they get three feet tall and three feet wide. And the smaller ones in the front, those are sensational lavender and they get to be 18 inches to two feet uh, tall and wide. There we go. There goes the hardness zones and all that good stuff. And I dare place this climbing rose in the corner here. It's already thrown off some long canes. I know it doesn't look too hot. They've been in pots. Actually, I got two of these. Two of them have been in pots since early summer and just been getting drenched with water every couple of days. This is Sombril, Sombril Climbing Rose. I'll show a picture. Supposedly has a heavenly smell, heavenly scent. And what it's gonna do is climb up on that wall, on that fence rather, and right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's getting really dark. My timing is so bad with doing this, uh, this short video clip. So right there is a Lark Ascending Rose. That's its first season. And over here on the other side of this plinth and urn, here's another one. It's actually got a few blooms on it. Let's see if we can catch that real quick before it gets too dark. So it has a real pretty um, sunrise glow to it. Very soft, pale yellow with outer edges has a uh, blush pink and it smells really good lark ascending smells really good and as you can see the leaves are quite healthy so this is a healthy shrub never mind the yellowing that happens toward the fall um, what you gotta do is when those leaves fall you need to clean it up from around the base of the plant but anyhow so this front half of this bed is gonna be all my lavender. Against the fence is that Sombrero Rose. And I'm also gonna put, um, I think it's called a Hyde Hall Clematis, which has white flowers to grow in amongst the climbing canes of that uh, Sombrero Rose. Back here, I've got this huge rosemary plant. The only rosemary survivor from when I had that uh, herb garden theme. This right here is an America rose, still throwing out buds. Here's one that's slightly spent, but it has a pretty bloom structure, pretty bloom structure. That right here is going to eventually climb up on this fence. And right there I have, um, a clematis. What's the name on this? It's been here for a number of years. Uh, Guiding Promise clematis. So, yeah. I 
I can probably get a few more rosemary plants to plug in up here because rosemary actually has a pretty um, set of blooms in the spring. So that's what this chaotic mess is over here. It is far too dark to continue filming. So I, hopefully you guys get the gist. This right here is, um, I think a blue light clematis, which has done pretty good this year, considering we had several droughts. On this narrow bed back here, got a bunch of um, Asiatic lilies. And back here is, oh, I'm glitching, I'm glitching. The computer cannot compute. Back here, I have a Gertrude Jekyll rose. <laughs> I hate that when I'm trying to do a video and I'm trying to think of what the name of a plant is or what I like to say next. So over here is another grouping of um, Asiatic lilies. They all tended to clump together, the root zone apparently. Um, and to finish off is this um, diamond ball clematis right here. That's the first year's growth up this little trellis and eventually growing up on that and joining up with the Gertrude Jekyll. So this entire corner of the garden promises to look really nice next season, right? With that being said, it's way too dark. I'll go ahead and hang up this video and hopefully you guys got the gist of my plans. Um, adding more lavender, right? And this climbing rose and a few more clematis before it gets too dark, right? I'll see you in the next one.